Hello, and welcome to Tip of the Week by CAD Tech Seminars, also known as TheBIMGuys.com. You can find us on the web at TheBIMGuys.com. We do training, technical support, and BIM modeling. So if you have any questions about that or want to talk to us about a project, give us a ring. My name is Ken Colgan, and today we're going to cover how to work with keynotes in Revit. We'll customize the keynote list and see how it works in our model. So let's check it out. I'm going to go over here to my first floor plan. This is just a little model we we're working on in the last training. And uh, what we're going to do here is take a look at keynotes. Now, keynotes come in pretty much three flavors. If you go up top and you hit annotate, you'll come over here and hit keynotes. You'll notice there's an element keynote, material keynote, and user keynote. An element keynote is going to note an object like, let's say, a window. That is a, a, an object. Okay. Now, with, when you fire this up for the first time, it's going to say, what is this object? So we scroll through, and we have to answer that question. I must just say wrought iron gate. I'm not going to go spend all my time looking for it. And you'll see how it actually uh, starts to roll out like so. Now, at this point, <clears throat> if I grab that tag, you'll see we're using a company tag. It's just company X tag here. And it may or may not work properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the Revit Na uh, native tag and we'll see how it works. Let's go up top, insert, load family. And if so if you if your tag wasn't working, go ahead and just go to annotation, scroll down to keynote and hit open. What this is going to do is start us nice and clean with the proper tag. So I'm going to grab this tag here, drop this down. I'm going to go to for instance keynote text. I want you to notice how it actually changed it on our gate. Now, the nice thing about these tools are once you've noted an object, like a window, edit type, you'll notice that within the fixed window, that down toward the bottom, you'll see that the keynote is noted in here. So all windows that are 24 by 48 will use that same keynote. Now let's see how that works. So if I'm somewhere else in the model and I want to click on one of those windows, I go to annotate or I want a tagged window, keynote, element keynote. When I touch that window, you'll notice that it's picking up a certain number. Now, currently, it's choosing the, the keynote number, but I'm going to say use the text instead, and you'll notice it does, again, raw iron gate. So it's a quick way for people to <clears throat> excuse me, annotate the projects with keynotes. Now, that is what's called an element keynote. Let's take a look at a material keynote. When I fire up material keynote, I come down here, material keynote. Now, currently, it says keynote text. As I roll over the objects, notice how it's picking up the information so it knows what it is. So I don't have to try to remember if I'm detailing or whatever I'm doing to get that straightened out. Let's go to a section real quick. Uh, I'm going to turn this up to high detail so you can see. Fine. And now as I roll over the materials with the keynote, material keynote, see how it knows what it is. Now the exterior hasn't been decided yet, but notice how we have the, the sheathing, we, the stud, the jip. We know what those are. We even know what the, uh, the floor finish might be. So we actually can use these keynotes like so. Now where are they held? If you go to Manage, Materials, and then within the Materials, once it fires up, you'll notice that we have over here, under Identity, identity Information, you'll see it has the Keynote Information. So that's actually where it picks it up. So if you're wondering where is all this, how's it all tied together, so if I type in, let's say, uh, the JIP, as it comes up, you'll see we have a lot of JIPs on board here. Now if I pick one of these, you'll notice how it actually has the Keynote in it. So once it's keynoted, from that point forward, Revit knows what it is, and I don't have to retype over and over again. So that's very good stuff. Uh, the final one, let's go to the first floor again, is just a user keynote. A user keynote does not retain, uh, is not retained in the actual object. What it does, it just is, in essence, a note. Let's take a look. Annotate, keynote, user keynote. Come down here, pick it, and notice at this point, it's going to say, what is this item? Notice you're like, wait, that's that's wrought iron gate. Well, staging storage area. Okay, hit OK on that, and you can see how it actually puts it in. So that is how we use keynotes in Revit. Now, if you want to change the way the graphics look, you'll notice here, as I hit Edit Type, you have the ability to duplicate this, adjust what shows, uh, and then also choose a leader arrowhead. So I'm going to drop this down, and I'll say fill 20 degrees. So what that's doing is now you'll notice they all have the arrows. So that is the basics of setting up uh, or using keynotes in Revit. Now you're probably wondering where is it pulling from. So let's take a look at that and then we'll move to the next video on how to edit it. With the keynote here, on a keynote settings, you'll see it's pulling from a file. Now I'm going to go browsing and I go out to my desktop. That's where I have my training files. 
and we'll just go ahead real quick, go to Revit Training, and then I have Keynote Tools and a bunch of them in here. Now when I pick this here, this is a file and it is a text file and we'll open it up in another video and talk about how to manipulate it. But when you hit open, that is the file that it is using. Now you'll notice there's not a lot of editing tools inside of Revit to manipulate that, that file. The concept is someone puts the file together and then all the users draw from that same bucket of information. So there's a consistency across the project. Uh, if I could, everybody could jump in and edit it in some, in some companies they say we don't want that to happen and that's how Revit's set up. You have one person that would edit that file and then everybody would draw from that file. There are bonus tools out there. Uh, Kiwi makes a, a keynote editor that you can edit live which is quite nice. So there are the tools out there that you can plug in to Revit to make it happen. Now in the next video I'll show you how to edit them by hand. So I hope you enjoyed the tip. If you have any questions or comments check us out on the web at thebimguys.com. Thank you.